Hi there, folks. Today I wanted to show you a cool new feature that I learned on the iPad, something that could come in handy for making different screencast tutorials using apps like ScreenChomp and EduCreations. And it's actually making use of one of the accessibility features that's built into the iPad, which is the Zoom feature. And so I'm going to just jump, come out here uh, from the creation apps that I have and I'm going to go to the settings tab and in the settings tab I'm going to take a look at the general settings and usually what you'll have to do is scroll down to the very bottom of the general uh, settings and you'll see one marked for accessibility. There are several different accessibility features built into the iPad but the one I'm going to take a look at today is the zoom feature and you'll notice here that it says that zoom magnifies the entire screen and to in order to zoom you double tap with three fingers and then you can move around the screen by dragging with three fingers and then if you want to change the level of the zoom you double tap and kind of hold on that second tap and then drag your fingers either up or down to zoom in or out. So I'm going to turn that on and I'll demonstrate the effect. So if I double tap the screen zooms in and I know in my screencast there's a little zigzaggy feature that is happening while I'm making my recording, but that doesn't actually happen on your iPad. If I double tap again, it zooms back out. If I double tap and hold, I'm actually zooming in to a certain level and then I can zoom back out. Now it doesn't show quite as well with my screen capturing because of the zigzagging effect, but I'm just going to double tap again and come back to normal. So let's take a look at how that could be useful in one of these screencasting iPad apps like EduCreations. So I'll open up that app. And as many of you probably already know, this is a great app for making little tutorials. We can do some math and demonstrate it, and you can hit record. But one of the things that you'll notice when you're drawing with your finger is that there's a limit, especially if you're doing words, Sometimes it's difficult to do really small words. So now using that zoom feature, I can double tap and I can move around the screen. I could actually even double tap and zoom in even further. And then I'm going to move here. And now I'm going to write a new word. And I'll double tap again with my three fingers. And now you can see that I'm able to write much smaller that way. And so if you're doing detail in one of these screencasting apps, that might be a really nice feature. Hope you enjoyed this little tip. Take care.